what it do homies it's your boy dave and i'm back today we are here with another patreon request this time we're about to take a look at the allman brothers band whipping posts okay now the name of that song whipping post it does sound like something that i've heard uh like a song before but we're gonna go ahead and shut up and turn it up find out what the allman brothers band is about <laughs> some soul in them just to the power. Ooh, okay when them dynamics see i was just sitting here thinking while i was listening to it uh just kind of the way that it kind of entered right so i was born this song came out <clears throat> well before i was born right they had a little thing right here that said 19 I said it right let's see where i'm at 125 so what did it say uh what did it say at the beginning uh it says decade of hits so i'm not sure when this exact same came, a song came out this must be a, a kind of like a color uh um, what do you call it? What do you call that uh, album that just has, you know, their best hits from spanning over a couple of years? It might be down here in the comments, but either or I know it came out before I was born. And, you know, I'm so used to hearing such a shift in dynamics once the intro starts coming in, you know. But when he started singing, it was almost kind of like he's kind of eased into it. Right. And I'm just sitting here like, all right, that's cool. You know, this might just be like maybe a limitation of the radio or a limitation of the recording of the time or something like that. But boy, was I wrong because as soon as that chorus came in and he started bringing in them emotions in that voice, just tied to the whipping post. When he just started really just, just died, you, you could feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like he was crying. Like he just sitting on the ground, just crying because he's just tied to this whipping post. And then the organs came in. Boy, I'm telling you, man, that's that type, that's that type of soul, that's the type of spirit that he was singing with, the type of stuff that people be singing about in church, right? When they be feeling it, you know what I'm saying? I felt all of that in his voice. And it's hard. It's hard as an artist to convey stuff like that through your music and have the feeling reciprocate onto your listeners. So yes, absolute yes on this song, 1,000 times. <laughs> start singing so i'm a married man so i know i know all about that whipping post being tied to it you know what i'm saying now there's a compromise you know but <laughs> um i always say to some of my videos that sometimes there's more words being spoken in the instrument that's playing than it is somebody uh than somebody singing and then everything being face value as you hear it you know what i'm saying so when they uh play that music he's basically just kind of telling the story telling the story of the times where he was the whipping post and you can kind of hear it in the notes you know that's all i want to say just wanted, to, just wanted to point that out. Seem to change in the bad times. 
Some some songs are just oh my goodness, bro. I mean, oh, you just this is a type of song that just kind of transports you. I mean, how can you not sing with that chorus, bro? If my whole entire family was not asleep behind me, I'm telling you, I'm, bro. My goodness, I mean, this is like one of them songs, right? And women can react really react to, but I feel like you know this is a song that a lot of men can react to as far as being tied to the whipping post. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, <laughs> be, I don't want to get into like really many details, but Mary, like I said, I'm a married man, so I definitely understand. Sometimes I'm not always tied to the whip post, but sometimes it feels like I am. You know what I mean? Um, uh, the dynamics. I'm telling you, when the chorus just comes in, it's just that emotion and that aggression that's just playing. You can't help but feel it. It's just I know it was just showing all over my face. And then when the lyrics came in, uh, not the lyrics, sorry, when the when the when the solo came in, you know, I love it when when during the solo, you know, when they're improving or if they playing it, when they play the same note multiple times, you know what I'm saying? Because you like ding ding, and it's like after the fifth time they do it, you should, like you really start feeling it, you know what I'm saying? Because these are emotions, these are these words, these are these memories and stuff and uh, experiences that are being played out through the music, and it's just allowing for us to convey or tell our own story within the music or try to hear what they're trying to explain to us. So pain, you can hear the aggression, you hear the misery. The ending of this song was very interesting too. It's almost it, it gave me like a sense of of release, you know what I mean? Just the way that the symbols was crashing and how all the notes were kind of converging into one we had a little bit of licks there and uh here or there uh with the guitar i believe let me see yeah see um uh yeah leading up to that ending uh the where it was like damn like it was like uh the crying kind of gave you that crying um that motion you know what i'm saying like like you know when you get whipped you know or, or with a belt or whatnot you know you get those shrieks you get those cries so i love how they did that i don't even think that there was vocal right there i think that was pure guitar which is amazing right this is amazing how you can convey words through music right you know exactly what it is but nobody said a word you know what i'm saying um not necessarily sounds uh, <clears throat> sounds of silence but uh nobody said a word but <laughs> Uh, but you heard it and it honestly one i'm i'm just kind of dumbfounded right now just because now all i want to do is just go in an attic or in my pillow and just start yelling like oh and another thing i think right before they went into the chorus there wasn't necessarily a tempo there, there's been time signature switches right i did hear that uh but i believe that there were uh it was a tempo kind of slow down almost like it was a delay getting into it. and i love that because that's what kind of sets the mood you know what i'm saying like 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 me listening to like blues you know what i'm saying that blues just ding, ding, and it's like a delay before they jump in what it does it kind of sets that climax to hit even more harder let you know like hey we about to go you know what i'm saying like when you turn on a car and you start running slowly before you reach up the max speed or when you run at max speed which is what the what the sun was doing and then you parked at a parking lot but you're doing like a slow ride you know what I'm saying like 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 uh or like a stop sign where you kind of just slow down but you still rolling and you rev back up that's what that gave me an idea and like i said the first time i heard that chorus just absolutely just being blown out of my mind i was like yo this is crazy like i just you just gotta kind of you gotta kind of scrunch your face and just bring up all these memories that's in your head and just go oh my goodness man saying it right now man <laughs> i don't know i don't know sometimes i'm really bad at communicating how i'm feeling but hopefully you guys get the gist of this that's the end of this video if you enjoyed the content leave a like and subscribe dave's out